so how things are going to work tonight, we're going to watch the 30 minute documentary, Disaster Artist. After that, Greg's going to do a reading from his book. We're also going to do a couple scenes from the script, which is a tad different from the film. And then we're going to have a Q&A, and we're going to open it up to all of you guys. Um, chapter one, oh hi Mark. <laughs> Tommy Wiseau has always been an eccentric dresser, but on a late summer night in 2002, he was turning the heads of every model, weirdo, transvestite, and facelift artist in and around Hollywood's Palm Restaurant. People couldn't stop looking at him. I couldn't stop looking at him. Even today, a decade later, I still can't unsee Tommy's outfit. Nighttime sunglasses, the dark blazer is loose and baggy as rain gear, sand colored cargo pants with pockets filled to capacity. Was he smuggling potatoes? <laughs> A white tank top, clunky Frankenstein combat boots, and two belts. What is uh, what was your relationship with Tommy like? How did you first meet him? Um, well, ironically, I met him in an acting class, <laughs> where uh, where it all began, and I watched him go up and perform Shakespeare. The entire class was horrified. And, uh, <laughs> what was that? And I just thought, you know what? There's something really interesting about that guy. He's really putting himself out there. And usually in an acting class, everyone's a little reserved and nervous, and I was that way as well. So when he went up there, he was just so free and started arguing with the teacher, and so <laughs> I said, that guy, I gotta stick to that guy, and so that's, I just went up, I actually approached him, and you know, t to be my scene partner, and he thought it was, he thought that was kind of weird, but uh, <laughs> we ended up playing football at Golden Gate Park, and it was, the rest is, the rest is history. understand you why do you do that <laughs> because I love you sarcastically you don't care do you see you later yes I do care but we agreed it's over between us I understand I'm with you it's our secret I still have feelings for you but I guess you don't care yes I do care don't drive yourself crazy the water stopped running I have to go now see you later my darling don't call me that <laughs> okay <bye. laughs> Joint to Peter. You want some? He holds up his hand. I love it. No, man. You know I don't smoke that stuff. Touched on it briefly, and I know there. So there's supposed to be the scene where he drives his car off the roof, and I think turns into a vampire. If I'm remembering that right, that was the intention. Yeah. Yeah. And I know that kind of came up like the middle of production. Did it ever like? Did he ever try to flesh that out and like actually work it into the story, or was that just sort of like an idea he had? It was just an idea. We were on the way to set. Um, he was having one of his Red Bulls. <laughs> Usually a lot of the creativity would come from, um, and so he tried to just push it on them that morning and they're like, no, you know, he would listen to a couple people on set, some of the more experienced people, um, and yeah, they talked him out of it, bastards. <laughs> you are tearing me apart, Lisa! <laughs> <laughs>